Initial delivery of Brajo's supersonic cruise missiles to the Philippines is scheduled for December which will equip its navy to protect its maritime interests from China's expansionist intentions Brajo's Aerospace A collaborative effort between India and Russia secured a $375 million contract last year to provide three batteries of supersonic cruise missiles to the Philippines. This missile has a range of 400 kilometers a speed of Mark 2.8 and has a warhead capable of penetrating and damaging the hull of even the strongest ships Brajo's director of aerospace General Atul Dinkar ran revealed that the first delivery of the missile system is scheduled for this December during the ongoing Philippine Defense Exhibition taking place in 2023. He expressed optimism about the smooth running of the process without weather-related disruptions emphasizing their commitment to achieving the stated goals apart from the missiles covered in the agreement. An integrated logistics support package and comprehensive training for supersonic cruise missile operators and maintainers has significant strategic value for the Philippines and serves as a deterrent to aggressive Chinese maritime behavior. This sentiment comes following reports of the Chinese Navy engaging in confrontational maneuvers with ships off the Philippine Coast Guard in the South China Sea last month at the Philippine Fleet Defense Exhibition Brajos Aerospace showcased the versatility of the supersonic missile system suitable for deployment on a variety of platforms such as submarines, destroyers, frigates and land installations that have been used in all three branches of the Indian military. Brahmo's Aerospace is also actively developing other iterations including a hypersonic missile which is projected to reach Mark 8 speeds with a potential range of 600 km. India has guaranteed timely delivery of the Brahmo's cruise missile platform to the Philippines which is a critical component for the country's land-based SBM anti-ship missile system. This assurance was reaffirmed in discussions between the Indian ambassador and the Philippine Minister of National Defense last August. A contract signing ceremony held virtually at the DND headquarters in January 2022 marked the acquisition of three Brajos crew missile batteries, a move hailed by former DND Secretary Delini Lorenzana as one that significantly increases the Philippine Navy's firepower, especially in coastal defense. Officials stressed the importance of deepening cooperation in the defense industry between India and the Philippines with a focus on strengthening dialogue and collaboration in areas such as counter-terrorism cyber security maritime security and special training programs Indian ambassador to the Philippines Shambhu Santa Kumaran also expressed India's willingness to support development Philippine defense infrastructure through technology transfer credit funding and maintenance assistance in their discussions. Commitment to upholding a rules-based international order and enhancing relations with like-minded countries in the region Ambassador Kumaran highlighted India's recognition of the Philippines' growing role in shaping the regional security architecture in the Indo-Pacific region.